Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I have joined a lot of Facebook groups and almost every day I see that someone posting that the extruder makes that. So that tells us that we have blocked nozzle. So the print looks like real disaster. And then this. So of course we will have to stop the print, raise slightly up, remove all this garbage from our bed. Oh, disgusting. Then we will need a set of keys. We will have to make temperature of our nozzle, well, I would say 245 degrees. Let's make it 250 so that completely all the plastic melt. Then we will have to release our tube. Okay, then we will need to remove our filament. Unscrew the motors while they're running. It's okay, no problem. We can set them on a side while they're running. Just like that. Remove this. Now we need to unplug our tube. Press down and pull it out. So I can see that the tube is slightly blocked. Then we will have to unscrew our hot end nozzle. Careful, everything is very hot since we have 250 degrees. I prefer to unscrew this part also. And then with the same tube, we're gonna push down back and forward to clean up the roots. Then we will have to cut this tube, but extremely straight. So that I'm gonna do with a very sharp knife. And as far as I can see, what you cannot see here on video, here is a little bit more dark, so I will cut approximately here. Okay, when we cut it perfectly straight, we need to clean up a little bit our heating element, but be very careful because it's super hot. So then we have to put back this nozzle, the new one, of course, and we're gonna screw it all the way back, and then we're gonna unscrew one, two, three. Three small steps. We will need to put back this stopper blocker for the Teflon tube. Okay, when it's back on, now we can push the tube all the way inside. Okay, I feel how it hit the nozzle. Then I'm gonna lock it with this stopper. I'll try to take out, it's not taking out good. Then I'm gonna screw back my nozzle. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna put back this silicone. Perfect and can assemble everything back. Tighten the screws, put back the zip ties. So after we change the nozzle, clean the tube, of course our levers are different, so let's level the bed now. I go out of home. Then I put this light on the back wall. It's just very quick version of leveling the bed. Then I choose prepare move axis, move X 10 millimeters and move it slightly. Then I move Y 10 millimeters, go on the first corner, release. And then I'm looking when it's almost no gap between my glass and the nozzle. This gap I can see because of the light behind. Then I do that with all four. So almost no gap between. Then I move to my other corner. Slightly above the bed, like half a millimeter approximately. Okay, perfect. Then I go out of home and if necessary can repeat one more time. So now we can put back the filament. I'm gonna cut this unwanted piece. Then I wanna check if my E-steps are okay. So I check my E-steps this way. Okay, so I mark 10 centimeters directly from extruder on the filament. So it's right here. So I need this one, this my red little dot, to stop right here by the extruder. And that we're gonna do by prepare, move axis, extruder, 10 millimeters, and I'm gonna add 10 millimeters. That's it, started. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it stopped exactly on the line of the extruder. Of course, we need to check our screws that they are tight enough. Okay, this one is good. Then I'm gonna check this screw. Perfect here, perfect here, perfect. And now our printer ready to print. So let's see how it's gonna behave now. So what causes nozzle clogging? Hot end temperature is too low, hot end temperature is too high, nozzle is too close to the bed, dust or dirt in the filament, filament diameter is inconsistent. Which steps we can take to prevent nozzle clogging? Clean the nozzle when switching between filaments, use clean and high quality filament, print at the right temperature, level your print bed, set the optimal nozzle height. Have you had problems with clogged nozzles? Tell us about them in the comment section. Thank you for watching, have a great print!